guys, it's the first proper blue sky sunny day here in Norway, so I'm really excited. It's actually warm. I think it's going to hit 18 degrees today. Um, I'm going to have a sink hair wash, but it's funny, I've definitely got van life vision because I'm looking over there at that football club and I was just thinking while well, I was drinking my coffee, I wonder if they have a shower. And then I was like, this is crazy. I can't just go and break into someone's football club and use their shower. So just going to have one in the van. The sun is shining here in Norway. It is so nice. Today we are starting one of the most beautiful road trips apparently. It's so nice to have a bit of sun. I can even just dry out some towels, some shoes. Our shoes aren't so stinky anymore. I've had everything drying out this morning. Today we are starting a 160 kilometre journey all the way from where we are now up to Bodo, past the Arctic Circle, and it follows the coast the whole way. And it is called the Kistriksveen, or something similar. I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, but this is a, one of the most famous coastal roads. This was actually quite a nice park up. We were quite rude about it when we arrived last night, saying it was our worst park up we've had, which is probably still true. But it's actually a really nice nature reserve with mud flats, and you can uh, watch birds and stuff. Norway is looking really stunning up here. It's all the flowers are in bloom now. It's very green. It's lush, isn't it? The sun's out, and this just feels a bit more like what I imagine we were coming to when we came to Norway. I wasn't expecting walls of snow and stuff still, um, but we are heading further north, so I'm sure we'll get them again. It's all it's all part of the adventure, really, and and I don't want to sound like we're complaining about snow. We love we love the adventure of it all. It's quite exciting and experiencing these different climates. The landscape has really changed. It's like large, much more lush and there's these beautiful farms all in like the traditional red paint. It feels like spring has sprung overnight and so many flowers. It's lovely around here. We have stopped to get some fuel. I feel like we talk about the price of fuel <laughs> quite a lot. But it does, it blows my mind how much it fluctuates within a week. Like in the UK, if it goes up by like 5p, we'd be like whoa it's gone up so much maybe not recently but um in norway change from like 19 kroner to like 26 kroner within the week and then it will go back down and fluctuate between those numbers it's just I, it's crazy how much it changes so out of habit i have actually put a location on google maps for us to follow but we are actually going to be on this same road for the next like four days or something. We're just following the number 17. I do have one regret from visiting Norway and that is that we didn't go and visit a state church while we were in the south. Um, I'm pretty gutted about that. We just forgot and then it was too late. Um, the other thing I will regret if we don't see it is a moose. We keep <laughs> seeing signposts from like warning moose crossing sort of thing. And um, I'll be really gutted if we don't see a moose. <laughs> fourth time we've overtaken those guys because <laughs> we stopped to get petrol we stopped to check the map we stopped to fly the drone and got lost. we've got to make some headway now we can't even take them again yeah i don't want to fall behind them again this spot looks amazing it's so nice we've just come down this little wooded road and it's like on this fjord you just cannot be a park up like this this is why we love park for night without it we'd never find a place like this it's just a random road off the side of the road no signs or anything we'd never turn down the road like this and it's brought us to this paradise. I don't know if that's going to come out on the camera, but it's pretty cool. It's a 360 rainbow around the sun. We oh, lose the board. Oh God, that was silly. 
That was really silly. Oh no, that was really silly. <laughs> why did you, why did you throw your paddle off? I don't know, that was really stupid. I don't suddenly got scared I was going to fly away. Oh, that's a bit yeah, so the currents are pretty strong here. You have to be careful with these fjords because there's such a huge amount of water coming in and out with the tide because the whole fjord is filling up and it's all going through quite a narrow space. We're actually going to see some of the strongest river currents in the world, tidal river currents in the world oh, uh, in, that. on this journey. Oh cool. Is that because of the such narrow gaps between the islands? Yeah exactly. So you've got this big fjord, big body of water, obviously us going up and down but because it's such a big area, it's a lot of water in that space. Uh, and it's all coming through just a narrow mm. channel where it joins to the sea. Guys, a very silly thing just happened. Well, nearly happened, I should say. Uh, I needed a poo. And I thought I'd take the opportunity while we're parked up here in this remote place to have a poo with a view. So I sat my toilet up like this, but no sooner had I sat up my phone than a boat comes past and starts messing around in the water in front. I'm glad they came at that point because two seconds later and I would have been very embarrassed. Caught with my trousers down. Let's go. You've got all your bits. You spread out everywhere. Yeah, here they are. Does Tom have all his bits? No. Yeah. On the floor. That's where I put it. Why have you moved it? It's really annoying actually. Oh, the bamba. She sounds a little bit like a tractor when she first starts. So a really fun thing about Norway is that we get to cross loads of cool bridges. Look at this! How amazing is this that this is just free for us to use? There isn't drinking water. Well, yeah, but I reckon that there'll be a pipe up there, like by the house place. The only thing that's not here is drinking water. I can see a random hose, but it's not... Like to turn it on, you actually have to go down another level, which I don't think is public property. So I'm going to ask in the shop where the drinking water is. Fingers crossed they have some. We're out. It's all sh shut. It's all closed at the moment because it's bank holiday. It's like you have to turn the tap on below. I mean, that, pro that probably is the drinking water. We can't find anywhere close by that does have water. We've scanned everywhere around here, can't see anything. So we're gonna go and brave it and go down to this car park where the tap is. We're really seeing a different side of Norway here and it's stunning. We're about to get our first sighting of the ocean. Well, the actual ocean. We've seen, obviously, the seawater in the fjords. We've just arrived at our ferry terminal in Holm. We're gonna have quite a long wait, I think, because we just saw the ferry depart, but that's actually quite good, because we both want to make a coffee in the back. Managed to make us coffees in the nick of time, as always. This ferry looks a lot more sturdy than the normal ones we go on through the fjords. This one's more of like a seagoing one and I guess we are like right on the coast so... Mm, it looks sense. a lot different, yeah. Woohoo! Now we're going to go explore because I think it's quite a big ferry. Hope you find a nice comfy seat. Mm. Up on deck, in the sun. This is the life. So me and Tom were saying it feels like we we're on a proper adventure now. We already were, but we're getting these ferries, we're going up north. We're the most north I've ever been in the world. Is that the same for you? By a long way, yeah. By a long way. And we're actually heading to the Arctic Circle, so we're going to have 24 hours of sun. We can get a tan all day long. If you're coming on one of these ferries, be prepared to resist the amazing smell of waffles and pancakes. We've just arrived at our spot for the night. It looks pretty cool. We've got a view of the famous mountain with a hole through it. I've just cooked us up an aubergine, potato.
potato, coconut curry with some rice. Nice to have a bit of spice. I haven't had a curry in ages. We're being very, <laughs> very lame today. It's half eight and we're we're going to sleep. We're going to have a really early night. Isabel's already tucked up. Thanks for joining us for another day, guys. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching along. Um, yeah, have a nice day.